guys, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. So this class is just a fun creative sequence that you can do any time of day. I always recommend you have a couple things. Two blocks is always nice, especially for the times where the floor feels far away. Um, a water bottle, towel, and a mat, of course. And that's really all you need. If you like to have music on in the background, I have lots of playlists on my Spotify. I'll put the link in my description box. You can just have it on the background and uh, we're good to go. So let's do this. We're gonna start off on our stomachs today. So as you come onto your stomach, you're gonna place the hands beside your lower rib cage and actively hug the elbows inward center. So I want you to press the tops of the feet on the floor, engage the inner thighs and the glutes. Now I want you to lift your chest forwards and up. And when you do that, feel like you're dragging your hands to your feet and then lower back down. And let's do that again. Lift the chest forwards and up. Feel your hands dragging to your feet. And then lower down. And then one more time, chest comes forwards and up. And then lower down. Now leave your hands where they are, but bring your right heel in towards your glute. You're going to roll over onto your left hip. You're going to step that right foot behind you. Press yourself all the way up. So now you're seated facing the back of your mat. And then you're going to lower back down. So send that right leg back. Come on to your stomach. And then we're gonna do the other side. So bring your left heel into your glute, roll over into the right hip, step the left foot behind you, press yourself all the way up, and then lower yourself back down. Baby cobra again, chest comes forwards and up. And then lower, tuck your toes under, press yourself through table. And then come into downward dog. So you're gonna tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Pedal out the legs. Root down through the hands, make sure you're not rolling off the fingers. And then lifting your heels up, bend the knees, you're gonna walk your feet forwards, coming to the top of the mat. So your feet at least hip distance apart, maybe wider. Your right hand is gonna come for your left ankle. Now bend deeply into your right leg, rotate your chest towards the left and reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna switch. So take your left hand to the right ankle, Bend into your left leg, rotate the chest to the right, and reach that right arm up. Now take your right hand for the left ankle. Keep both hands around the ankles, bend the knees, lift the chest forward, take a breath in, and then fold forwards into the leg. So let the head just drop. Feel like you're pulling your feet apart. And then release the arms down, slowly roll yourself up to stand moving through the whole spine and then when you come to the top reach both arms up take an inhale create some space and when you exhale empty fold forwards fingertips of the shins lift up halfway and then set the hands down step back downward dog roll forwards coming into plank so bring the shoulders over top of the wrists take your heels over to the right side and then bring your heels back to center. So hug the core in the center and take your heels over to the left and then come back to center and take an inhale there. Exhale with either your knees up or down. You're gonna lower all the way to the floor. Baby Cobra, chest comes forwards and up and then lower down. Tuck your toes under, table or plank and then come into downward dog. Bring your big toes to touch. So start by lifting the heels up to take your hips back and send the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee, rotate your hips towards the right. And then you have the option here to come down onto your left forearm. And you can use your right hand to push away from the floor. So keep sending that right knee up. And if you're on your forearm, come back onto your hands, square off the hips, three-legged dog. Cross that knee underneath you, right knee to the left arm, shoulders come forwards. And then send your leg out to the left side for a falling triangle, back heel to the ground. Use your glutes to lift the hips to the ceiling and reach your left arm up. And then take your left hand down, turn on the ball of your back foot, three-legged dog, right leg up. Come forwards, bring your knee to your nose and then step your foot down beside your right thumb. Back knee lowers to the floor. Low lunge, sweep both arms up towards the ceiling. Cactus the arms, so bend the elbows, lift the chest up. And then bring your forearms and your pinky fingers to touch. So we'll do two more like that. Inhale to open. 
Exhale, close it off. And then one more time, inhale, open. Exhale to close. Good, and then open up. You're gonna interlace the hands behind the back. Press the palm of the hands together. Hug the elbows in a center, move the hands away from the glutes and lift your chest up. And then from here, you're gonna to fold to the inside of your right thigh. Send the knuckles either to the ceiling or towards the front of your mat, but keep drawing that right thigh in towards your ribs. And then lift yourself back up, set your hands to the floor and come into a half split. So the hips come back, draw the right toes to your face. And then keeping your foot flexed, just turn your foot to face the right side and then fold center. So try not to shift all your weight to the left. So toes are gonna stay facing in the direction that they're in. Both hands come to the inside of your right leg. Now bend into your front leg and shift onto the outer edge of that right foot and open up the hip. So from here, I want you to just walk your hands around in all different variations. Notice how it feels in the different spots. And then take your left hand wide. Your right hand's gonna come to the inside of your right thigh. So you're gonna guide your thigh away from the chest, lift the chest up towards the ceiling. And then keep pressing the thigh away, just drop your right shoulder down. Lift your chest back up. Set your right hand to the floor, ground your right foot, tuck your back toes under, pick up your knee and walk yourself over the left for a wide-legged forward fold. Your left hand's gonna come on the ground in line with your sternum. Your right arm's gonna reach towards the front of your mat. Now rotate your chest towards the front of the mat and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. So think a long spine, wrap your right arm behind the back. Your hand might actually find that left hip and then see if you can pull that left hip back a bit more. So it's not collapsing in. And then both hands come down onto the ground. Bend your knees and slowly roll yourself up to stand. As you come to the top, warrior two to the front. So bend in the front leg, arms out to the side. Reverse your warrior, reach your right arm up and over. And then back into warrior two. Take your right forearm just to the right thigh and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. So try not to hike your hips back. So see if you can find that engagement through the inner thighs. Pull the heels in towards one another. Draw the ribs in. And then wrap that left arm behind the back, finding that half bind. Feel like you're pressing your spine into that arm. And then bring yourself into warrior two. Windmill your hands down on the floor. Turn on the ball of your back foot and you're going to step back into plank. Now take your heels over to the left side, bend your knees and send your hips back. And then come back into your plank. Heels over to the right, bend the knees, send the hips back. And then come into plank, take an inhale there. Exhale, lower all the way down onto the floor. Now bring your right heel in towards your glute. Roll over onto your left hip. Step that right foot behind you. You're gonna lift yourself all the way up in a wild thing. So hips go up towards the ceiling. Right arm reaches towards the front of the mat. And then lower yourself back down onto that left glute. Come onto your stomach, send that right leg back. Baby cobra, chest comes forwards and up. And then lower down. Tuck the toes under, press yourself to table or plank. Downward dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Heels lift to send your hips back. Left leg goes up towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee, rotate your hips towards the left. Option to come down onto that right forearm and use that left hand to push away from the floor. Come back onto your hands, square off the hips. Cross it underneath you, left knee to right arm, shoulders forwards. Falling triangle, send your leg to the right side, back heel to the floor, hips lift to the ceiling, right arm up. Right hand down, three-legged dog, left leg up. Come forwards, bring your knee into your nose, and then step down in between the hands, back knee to the floor. Low lunge, sweep your arms up. Cactus the arms, so bend the elbows, lift the chest up, take an inhale there, 
And then exhale, forearms, pinky fingers to touch. Inhale to open up. Exhale, pull it in. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. And then open back up. Interlace the hands behind the back, weird grip. Elbows hug in, move the hands away from the glutes as you lift the chest. And then fold to the inside of your left thigh again. Lifting yourself back up. Set the hands down onto the ground, half split. Hips go back, flex in the left foot. Keeping your foot flexed, just turn your foot to face the left side. Fold center. Eek. Feeling her today. Hands come to the inside of that left leg. Bend into your front leg and shift onto the outer edge of that left foot, so open up the hip. Take your hands all over the place. Try different spots, lines in the hips. And then your right hand's gonna go wide. Your left hand's come to the inside of that left thigh. So guide that leg open as you lift the chest. And then drop your left shoulder down towards the floor. Lifting your chest back up. Set your foot down, set your hand down, tuck the back toes under, pick up your knee. Walk yourself over to the right, finding that wide-legged forward fold. So right hand on the ground, reach your left arm towards the front of your mat. Rotate the chest to the front as you reach that left arm to the ceiling. Wrap the left arm behind the back, finding that outer right hip, pull it back, lift the sternum up. Set your hands down, bend your knees, and then slowly roll yourself up to stand. Warrior two, facing the front of your mat, bending into your left leg. Reverse your warrior, left arm up and over. And then come back into warrior two. Left arm to your left thigh, right arm up towards the ceiling, lengthen through the sides of the body. And half bind, wrap that right arm behind the back without jetting your ribs forwards. So you can draw them in. And then bring yourself back up into warrior two. Windmill your hands down onto the ground, turn on the ball of your back foot and step back into plank. Heels go over to the right side, bend your knees, shift your hips back, and then come into your plank. Heels over to the left, bend the knees, hips go back, and then come into your plank, take an inhale there. Exhale, lower yourself all the way to the floor. Baby cobra, chest comes forwards and up, and then lower down. Left heel into your glute, roll over on your right hip, step that left foot behind you, and then you're gonna lift your hips up towards the ceiling for a wild thing. And then lower yourself back down to the ground. Come onto your stomach again, send that left leg back. Baby cobra. And then lower, press yourself up through table, and then just come into a child's pose. Take a few breaths there. Close the eyes. And then slowly roll up the spine so you're sitting on the heels. Swing your legs forwards and come down onto your back. So as you come onto your backs, bring both knees in towards your chest. Just take a moment to rock side to side. And then setting up the arms first, so you're going to come into those cactus arms. So elbows bend in line with the shoulders and press the back of the hands into the ground. Now bring your knees over top of the hips and shins are parallel-ish to the ceiling. You can choose to have your legs together or you can have your feet about hip distance apart. Either way, I want you to envision like you have a block or something in between your thighs that you're actively hugging into the whole time. So hug the core in towards the midline. And then you're going to take your knees over to the left side. So your left thigh is going to hover, actively press the right shoulder blade into the floor, and then bring your knees back in the center. So now take your knees over to the right, hover your right thigh, press your left shoulder blade into the floor and then bring your legs back up. Fun, right? Let's do it again. 
Knees over to the left, press the right shoulder blade down, and then come into center, and then take your knees over to the right. And then come back to center. One more round, take your knees over to the left, and then bring yourself back up. Last side, knees over to the right, and then bring yourself back up. Nice, hug your legs in towards your chest. Set your feet down on the mat about hip distance apart, press the feet down. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling using your glutes. Coming into your back bend of choice. You can stay in bridge here. You can walk your shoulder blades underneath you, interlacing your hands. Maybe Will's in your practice and you wanna lift up into a wheel here. And then release the hands and slowly roll down the back. Bring both knees in towards your chest. So you're gonna rock and roll a few times up and down the back. We'll meet on our hands and knees and table. So if you want to grab a quick sip of water, grab some water here. And we're just going to move through a couple cat cows. So just on your own, any variation of cat cow that you need here. And we'll meet in downward dog. Bring your big toes to touch. Heels lift to send the hips back. Take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend that top knee, rotate your hips towards the right. So again, you can stay on the hands, you can come on one forearm, or this time you might come down onto both forearms. I'm sending the hips up towards the ceiling. And then if you are on the forearms, press yourself back onto the hands, square off the hips, three-legged dog. Cross it underneath you, right knee to the left arm, shoulders forward. Falling triangle, take your leg over to the right side. Option to keep the leg lifted and take that left arm up towards the ceiling. And then set your left hand down, three-legged dog, right leg up. Come forwards, knee to nose. Step down in between the hands, back knee to the floor. Low lunge, both arms sweep up. Cactus the arms, so bend the elbows, lift the chest. We're just going to do one round, bring the forearms to touch. And then open back up. Interlace the hands behind the back. Move the hands away from the glutes as you lift the chest and then fold to the inside of that right thigh. Lift yourself back up. Set the hands down and frame your right foot. Half split, hips go back. We're not here long, so turn your toes face the right side, fold center. And then take your hands to the inside of that right leg, bend into your front leg, shift onto the outer edge of the foot. This time you have the option to tuck your back toes under and pick up your back knee. Walk your left hand to the left side, right hand to the inside of that right thigh, guide it open as you lift the chest up. And then take that right shoulder down to the floor, keep pressing the thigh away from the torso. Lift the chest back up. Set your right hand down, pick up your right left knee if it's not already. Walk over to the left side for that wide-legged stance. Left hand on the ground, reach your right arm towards the front of your mat. And then find that twist, rotate the chest towards the front, right arm up. So you can stay here, you can add a half bind, wrapping the right arm behind the back. And then option to take your left hand for your right ankle. But think of a long spine, try not to hold your breath. And then both hands come down to the floor. We'll spend a few breaths in this wide-legged forward fold. And then bending your knees, slowly roll yourself up to stand. Warrior two to the front. Reverse your warrior, right arm reaches out. Back into warrior two. Right form to the right thigh, extended side angle, left arm up. So you can stay there, you can add that half bind, wrapping the left arm behind the back. Option for the full bind, right arm goes underneath the thigh. And then come into warrior two. Windmill your hands down onto the ground, turn on the ball of your back foot and step into plank. 
Heels go over to the left side. Bend your knees, send the hips back, and then come forwards in a plank. Heels to the right, bend the knees, send the hips back. And then come into a plank, take an inhale there. Exhale, lower yourself all the way to the floor. Right heel in towards the glute. Roll over onto your left hip, step the right foot behind you. Press yourself all the way up into your wild thing. Lower yourself back down onto the ground. Send that right leg back, you're on your stomach. Baby cobra or up dog. And then tuck the toes under, we'll meet in downward dog. <sighs> Guys, one more side. Bring your big toes to touch. Heels lift, hips go back, left leg to the ceiling. Bend that top knee, rotate your hips towards the left. So you're either staying there, you're coming down on one forearm or maybe both forearms. If you are on the forearms, press yourself back onto the hands. Square off the hips, three-legged dog. Cross it underneath you, left knee, right arm. Falling triangle, so take the leg to the right side. Option to keep that leg up. Ground your back heel and take that right arm to the ceiling. Right hand comes down, three-legged dog, left leg up. Come forwards, knee to nose. Step in between the hands, back knee lowers to the floor. Low lunge, arms sweep up. Just one round, cactus the arms, lift the chest, take an inhale. Exhale, pull the forearms together. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Hands move away from the glutes, lift the chest. Fold to the inside of that left thigh. And then lift yourself back up. Set the hands down to the floor, half split, hip shift back, flex the left foot. Turn your toes to face the left side, fold center. Hands come to the inside of that left foot. Bend in the front leg, shift onto the outer edge of that left foot. Option to tuck your back toes under this time, pick up your knee. Right hand goes wide, left hand to the inside of your thigh. Guide it open, lift the chest. And then drop that left shoulder down towards the floor. Lift yourself back up. Set your hand down, ground your foot. You might have to pick up your back knee. Walk yourself to the right for that wide-legged stance. Right hand on the floor, left arm reach into the front of the mat. And then rotate your chest to the front, reach that left arm up. Optional half bind, left arm behind the back. And then you might be reaching for your left ankle here. Take a few more breaths. And then fold. Just close the eyes. Stay here in this wide-legged forward fold. And then bend your knees. Slowly roll yourself up to stand. Warrior two to the front. Reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches back. And then come into warrior two. Left forearm to the thigh, reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. So either staying there, finding that half bind or maybe your full bind. Your left arm's coming in front of your thigh and then underneath, reaching back for the fingers. Coming to warrior two, this is your last piece here. Windmill your hands down onto the ground, step back into plank. Heels go to the right, bend your knees, send the hips back. And then come into plank, heels to the left, bend the knees, hip shift back. Come into plank, take an inhale, exhale, lower all the way down. Left heel comes in, roll over onto your right hip. Step that left foot behind you, pick the hips up, wild thing. And then lower back down to the floor. Send that left leg back, come onto your stomach. Baby cobra or up dog. And then lower down, we'll meet in child's pose. So right away, come into stillness after all of that movement. Come back to your breath.
And we'll slowly roll up the spine so you're sitting on the heels, chest lifts. Swing your legs forwards and come down onto your backs. So as you come down onto your backs, you're going to bring your feet together. Let the knees fall open. If you have blocks or pillows, you can slide them underneath the thighs here. Just reach your arms up and over the head. So you're going to bend the elbows, reach for either elbow. If that doesn't work, just take your arms out into um, a T-shape. Just really feeling the breath move through the ribs, the belly, the back. Feel yourself calm down. And bring your knees to center. Just slide your hips over to the right so your knees can fall to the left or a recline twist. So you, you can put a block or something in between the thighs. You can cross one thigh over top of the other. Just breathing into the space where you feel the stretching. And bring your knees to the center and set it for the other side. So slide your hips a little over to the left, knees fall to the right, left arm out. And bring your knees back to your center. Take your legs long out in front of you. Relax the back of the hands on the floor, palms up. Taking as much time as you need to settle down. To be present with the breath before you leave your mat and go on with the rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining me. Always be humble, always be kind. Thank you.